Hello everybody and welcome to History Bite number 84, dated October 16th, 2020. I'm Walter, your mobile historian and blue collar scholar. This History Bite is entitled, Maryland's Court of Special Appeals. In Maryland, the Court of Special Appeals is our state's intermediate appellate court. That means, quite simply, that it sits below our state's highest court, the Court of Appeals, and immediately above our state's major trial courts, the circuit courts. As it exercises only appellate jurisdiction, the vast majority of cases heard in the Court of Special Appeals are appealed from the state's circuit courts, but it is also authorized by law to hear appeals from the state's orphans courts as well under certain circumstances. Appeals from the Court of Special Appeals are taken to the Court of Appeals if those cases present a significant question worthy of review by the Court of Appeals. As you would expect, the vast majority of cases appealed from the Court of Special Appeals are not accepted for review by the Court of Appeals itself, and thus the vast majority of appellate litigation is concluded in the state's Court of Special Appeals. This court traces its existence back to 1966 when, by way of a state constitutional amendment, the General Assembly created an intermediate appellate court for the first time in Maryland's history. They named that court the Court of Special Appeals. That name quite simply comes from its original authorized jurisdiction when it was only permitted to hear special appeals, primarily criminal cases. But since that time, its jurisdiction has expanded so greatly that it hears virtually any type of appeal from the circuit courts and occasionally from the orphans courts. All right. The Court of Special Appeals was created to reduce the ever increasing volume of appeals going to the Court of Appeals from the circuit courts. All right. The Court of Special Appeals consists of 15 active judges and at least one of them is appointed. At least one judge comes, rather, from each of the state's seven judicial circuits, all right? The Court of Special Appeals has at-large judges as well, being that there are seven appellate judicial circuits and 15 judges. Quite obviously, uh, there will be at-large judges, okay? These judges attain their office by being appointed by the governor of Maryland to 10-year terms, okay? They retain that office by way of uncontested retention elections. That means they go on the ballot, okay, when we have a general election, and you simply vote yes or no on whether or not they should remain in office. No one is allowed to challenge them for their seat, unlike on the circuit courts and unlike on the orphans courts, okay? So when you go to vote for other officials in Maryland, you'll often see judges of the Court of Special Appeals and the Court of Appeals on the ballot, okay? And if they are up there, then you vote either yes or no on whether or not they remain in office. If they receive a majority of yes, then they go on to serve a 10-year term. If they receive a majority of no, then they must leave the office, all right? And this process is repeated every 10 years, okay, until they retire or reach the mandatory judicial retirement age of 70. As I've mentioned in the other history bites, 70 is the longest a judge may serve in active status in Maryland. But like all the other judges in the state, judges who are retired from the Court of Special Appeals can be recalled on a per diem basis, all right? When the Court of Special Appeals hears cases, it normally sits as a three-judge panel, okay? And one of the judges will write the opinion of the court, right? Which, of course, may be joined by a dissent and a concurrence, all right? Sometimes the decision may be unanimous, all right? Sometimes it may be two to one, all right? Like I said, dissents and concurrences are very common at this level as well, all right? They are not perfect, and when it comes to appellate opinions, there are always uh, differing opinions on these ever so delicate legal matters. In very rare instances, the Court of Special Appeals may sit on bunk or as a full court, but this is exceptionally rare, all right? So, the Court of Special Appeals, thus, in conclusion, is Maryland's intermediate appellate court, dealing with the vast majority of appellate litigation in the state, and effectively 
setting the precedential course for the vast majority of appellate casework here. All right. Only those appeals deemed most worthy and most pressing in question will be accepted to the Court of Appeals for review. All right. And when the Court of Special Appeals makes a decision in a case, unless that decision is overturned by the Court of Appeals, then the decision remains, okay, binding on all of the state's trial courts, okay? So, that about covers the Court of Special Appeals. It's pretty much a straightforward uh, body of judges and judicial body as a whole, okay? If you have any questions, controversies, leave them down below. One more thing, neglected to mention, the Court of Special Appeals sits in Annapolis, uh, in the same uh, building as the Court of Appeals. The building is known as the Robert C. Murphy Courts of Appeals building, all right, on Raleigh Boulevard in Annapolis, okay? Thanks so much for listening to this History Bite. I appreciate you. Take care, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you at the next one. Peace.